Welcome! This screencast will show you how to create test users on Facebook. A test user is a special user account, invisible to normal users, which is created on behalf of an app for the purpose of testing that app's Facebook integration. You can use test users for manual or automated testing, and each app can create up to 2,000 test users. We ensure that test users are exempt from Facebook spam or fake account detection systems to ensure that you can test your app without worrying about getting disabled. There are two ways to create test users. The first is through a simple flow in the App Dashboard. From your App Settings page on the App Dashboard, scroll down to the Roles section and click Edit Roles. This takes you to the Developer Roles Dashboard, where you can control who has admin and developer access to your app. Navigate to the Test Users section at the bottom. You'll see there's already one test user pre-created. Let's add some more by clicking Create. In the pop-up that appears, you'll be able to create batches of test users, up to 10 at a time. Depending on what you want to test, you can also decide whether they should already have authorized your app, whether they have a ticker in their newsfeed, and if you're testing age restrictions, whether they're under 18. Then click Create. When the page reloads, you can see I now have four extra test users in my account. If you want to test features like requests or notifications, your test users will need to be friends. To set this up, click Modify Test Users. This view lets me select any of my test users and perform some actions on them. I can enable the newsfeed ticker on their profiles. I can make them friends with each other. I can add them to other apps I own, or I can batch delete them. Let's give Harry some friends. In the dialog that pops up, I'll select three of the other test users and click Make Friends. Now Harry has three friends. Navigate back to the Roles section and click the Switch To link on Harry's profile icon. Doing this will log me out of Facebook and log me in again as Harry. This is Harry's profile. You'll notice he recently added some friends. Harry's profile behaves like a regular person's profile. I can change details like his age or his relationship status, and I can adjust privacy settings on this information and also on posts from Harry's profile in case I want to test them. You can also create test users programmatically using the Graph API. To create a test user with the API, you'll need your app access token. You can generate it using the Graph API or by using the Access Token tool on the developer site. The call to create a test user programmatically looks like this. You'll need to specify your app ID and then accounts and test users to create a test user. Installed is a Boolean parameter that specifies whether your app should be installed for that test user when they're created. It is true by default. If you want to test installation of your app, you should set this to false. Name is an optional string parameter. You can specify a name for the test user you create that will be used in the email address assigned to that test user. Locale is an optional string parameter. The default is ENUS. Permissions is a comma-separated list of user permissions. Your app will be granted these permissions for the new test user if installed is true. At the end, you'll have to append your app access token. The response you get back will include the ID, which is the user ID of the test user. Next is an access token that you can use to make API calls on the test user's behalf. This is available only if your app has been installed by the test user. You can log in as the test user by going to the login URL. This expires on first use or after one hour to ensure that the test accounts remain secure. You can easily refresh the login URL by calling the get method again. You can also use the included email and password to log in as the test user. Let's see this in action as I create a test user named Sarah Jones. I get back her ID, email, and access token. And when I refresh the roles dashboard, you can see I have a new test user named Sarah Jones. To make your test users friends, you'll need to make two API calls, one requesting friendship and the other confirming it. You'll need the user IDs and access tokens for both your test users. This way, you can quickly create networks of friendship among your test users. You can also use the API to delete test users, change their names, and more. For more sample code and reference docs about test users, check out developers.facebook.com slash docs slash test users.